Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about percentiles and making ogive graphs. I will also explain what information and what questions we can answer once we have the ogive graph done. In statistics, I see that this is a, it's a very easy process to make an ogive, but students get confused with how to answer the questions from the graph. So hopefully I could clear that up for you today. Okay, so let's start off with the percentile. And I believe any student should know what a percentile is, okay? Because every time you take a test or a standardized test, you fall into a certain percentile. So the percentile, this is pretty much just a little informal definition, so it would be the total percent of data who falls who falls on or below a particular or a certain data point certain data point okay so let's just do like a quick little example so let's say you took the SAT exam okay and you scored a 6 10. Well, everybody took everybody took the SAT exam. The percentile may be something like this. You might be in the 92nd percentile. And what that means is that 92% of the population, 92% of everybody who took that that exam scored a 610 or lower. So it basically tells you how well you performed. Okay? All right. So now we're going to look at how to make an ogive graph. And this is a frequency table. If you haven't seen the video on how to make a histogram by hand, go back and look at that and I talk about a frequency table. Okay? Cuz we use frequency tables to graph histograms and we could also use it to graph an ogive. Okay, so my data here is the age of executives of a of a company. Okay? And this is the ages. So from 38 35 to 39, we had 3 people who fall in that age group. Um, from the 40 to 44 age range, we had six people, etc. So these are just counts of how many people fall in this range of age. Okay, the relative frequency would be the percent of that certain category. And the cumulative frequency is a little different. The cumulative frequency does what it says. Cum cumulative, that means to add everything up, take everything with it. So the first one is always whatever the relative frequency is. So that's 3 over 15 percent. The next one is going to be, and all I'm going to do is take this 3 and I'm going to add it with that 6 which will give me 9 over 20 or 9 over 20 will actually give us 45 percent. Okay. So the next one would be I'm going to take this this 9 and add it with the 7, which would be 16. I'm just taking everybody with me, 16 over 20. And now I have 45%. I just add 35%, which would be 80%. All I'm doing is I'm adding, this would be 15% plus 30%. This would be, okay, which is 45 Okay, so this would be 45%. You, 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 know, you should get the idea. 45% plus 35% gives you 80, and then the 80 plus the 20 will get you 100%. Okay? The last one on the cumulative will always be 100% because it's all of our data. Okay? So now that we have our table, now that we have our table, let's go ahead and show you how to graph these things. I have it all set up already. So these were our, let me just write this in, bins, counts, oh here they are right here. Bins, counts, relative frequency, and cumulative frequency. So, okay let's get started. So when we graph these, what we want to do is start zero. You always want to start on your lowest, on your lowest number here. We start at zero, and we're going to go up to the to the next bin and we're going to go to our 15%. Okay? 
And I'm using these cumulative frequencies right here. This is what I'm using right here, that 15%. Now I'm going to go to the 40, and I'm going to go to the 45, and I'm going to go up to 45%. So this is 45%. Okay, that's right in between this line and this line. That was a coincidence how it was 45 and 45. Let me go ahead and do this with straight lines and it'll, it'll be a little better. Let me do this with straight lines. So I'm gonna go to 15 there. I'm gonna draw a dot. And now I want to go, and I want to go to the 45, 45 and 45, which would be right about here. I'll go ahead and uh, just do all the dots first. Okay, so now I'm at, here, no, I'll put the points there. Put a point there. Now I want to go from 45 to 50, okay, 45 to 50, and I'm going to go to this 80. So I start here, and I'm going to go up to 80, which is right about here. And now I want to, the last one will always just go to 100. The last one will always go to 100. Okay, let me change the color on this a little bit and fill in some dots. Just put this up a little bit. Okay. So now that's our ogive. This is our ogive. So if you look, if you look, um, I could kind of ask questions two different ways. So this could be the first questions. I could say, what? Or I could say, what? Um, percentile centile would a let's say 49 year old be in 49 year old be in okay so if you look these are percentages but they're percentages of everything less so if I was going to do this problem I would go ahead and go to 49 go to 49 on your graph go to 49 which that saves right right here and you just scan up this way, and then we come this way here. Okay? So that's how we find the percentile. So the percentile would be around, percentile would be around 71%. This is the 71st percentile. Okay, two. Another question we could ask is, okay, what would be an age for a certain percent? So let's look at the median. Well, we know the median, the median is where 50% of the data goes up and 50% of the data goes down. So I want to know what age, what, what's the median age? What's the median age? Okay. So this is fairly simple. I'm just going to come over to, I'm going to come over to 50 percentile over here. Now I'm starting on the percentile side, and I'm going to shoot across here. Okay, right there, and then I'm going to go. I'm going to go down. Down to here. So it's somewhere around a little over 45 or. The age would be the age would be somewhere around 45 or 46. So you could try this with the you could you could find the Q1, you could find the Q3, and you could find the IQR. Those are important. So basically, these are some some uh, good questions to answer given you an ogive. See, if, if I was going to take the uh, Q3, that, that's where 75%, so I'd scan over there and scan down 25% over that. I could say, what's the age for the top 10%? So I'd go to 90 and shoot over and go down and get that age. So that's basically it on the ogives 
thank you for watching. I appreciate, appreciate it very much and have a nice day.